Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to look at how do we work with notification in processes. So what we are going to cover, we are going to cover about notifications in process. How do we enable notifications from OPA workspace, testing and retrying notifications. Let's begin. Notification in process. So OPA has an inbuilt notification mechanism that can be used to send email notification to the interested parties when a task has been assigned to somebody or the task has been reassigned or if the task has been rejected you wanted to you wanted to notify to the to the initiator like your request has been rejected so there is an inbuilt mechanism of that to send all such notifications so and you can also track what kind of not the notification has been sent or not if not what is the issue and then in case you want to retry you can retry that as well but OPA has an inbuilt mechanism to retry the notification every 15 minutes so every 15 minutes it will retry but there will be a limit of retry as well it is not like it can retry unlimited so the notification may fail because of n number of reasons maybe the email address is not correct maybe some network issue maybe something else so there may be a various reasons of notification failures you can track why notification has been failed from the opa workspace but remember you should have the administration administrator uh, privileges to work with the notifications when i say work meaning enabling disabling notifications and you know view the notification status and retry and all you can customize the email notification as well for example as per my company brand i want to customize that maybe the color theme the content the subject email subject lines and email body you can change everything and we have a complete process using which you can customize the email bodies of the notifications so you it's always suggested suggested to customize because you need to include some runtime data in the default notification there is no runtime data when i say runtime data meaning for example you are raising leave request in the email you wanted to tell hey these are the from which user you have received for which which date what is the reason everything you can put it there so but not to manage notification you have to be a process automation administrator so by default notifications are disabled you have to enable them in the workspace it is disabled you have to enable maybe you are you have enabled a notification in your process but it is not but it is not sent then you will say hey what happened so by default notifications are disabled you have to enable them from the workspace as an opa administrator you have to enable them before you use it not so when you enable the notification you have to provide the approved sender it's not like you can configure anything such as few domains such as oracle.com gmail.com yahoo.com or your custom domain may not work because you have not been as a approved sender so make sure you are the approved sender that you can view how do we make ourselves as a approved sender and then you can provide that in that from recipient from the workspace so let's look into it and see how do we enable the approved sender okay so let me go to the process designer and from here i will go to the workspace from that workspace you have to go here go to the admin and remember that admin is only available to the opa administrator since i am the administrator i can see that notification option under administration and complete administration will only be visible to the administrators go to the notification and here you see approved sender so you have to provide the recipient who will be allowed to send emails so here we have one email uh, which oracle has given which is no reply this is a format at mail dot integration me hyphen abu dhabi hyphen one it is 
the data center in which your OPA instance has been provisioned and then ocp.oraclecloud.com. So you have to replace with the data center. What is the data center in which you have uh, created your instance? So if I go here, I can get it from the Oracle integration. You see US Ashburn. So you can take this US hyphen Ashburn one. This is your data center code. You can come here and then you can replace this dot and then register. And when you will register, you will receive a confirmation message like successfully registered for the approved sender and then cancel. Now you can try to send a notification from here and you can see all the sent notification will come here, retries and then any error. So let me send a notification here. Let's say recipient to whom you want to send the notification. Let's say test body. So test subject. from OPA test email from OPA and let's just send. If the approved sender is okay, then the email will go and here you can see the status sent. Send meaning the email has been sent. You can click here. You, if you want to send, meaning email has been sent, you can delete in case you want to delete. Let me show you the email. Yeah, so you can see here, I received one email, test subject from OPA and test email from OPA. Let me come back and let me try to send another notification, maybe aa at com, and it says not test, test, and then send. Let's see what happens now. Successfully submitted. It says successfully submitted. It didn't say says successfully sent. Okay. Sent. Oh, it's issued, but it, it is not sent, I guess. Okay. It should show the error here. That's okay. But yes, it will try and see the notification has not has been sent or not. So this is how you can retry, you can send the notification. If it fails, you can come here and then retry. So this is how you can enable notification from the workspace. And in the further, uh, in the further videos, we will also look at it. How do we, how do we customize the email notification and then send it? So guys, that's all about this. Thank you. Bye-bye.